Welcome to KBRA Podcasts, where we cover topical research discussions, industry commentary, and more. Stay tuned for insight from our knowledgeable team members. My name is Joan Salbaum Vidra, and I look after sovereigns for KBRA. Thank you for tuning into today's Sovereigns podcast. The topic of this episode is the outlook for sovereign credit ratings. On balance, in KBRA's view, we expect the asset class will come under greater pressure in 2023, and our view is that the outlook is negative. There are constructive developments, however, that are softening our view, and we'll get to those in a few moments. But in sum, Higher debt loads, lags in macroeconomic performance due to an interest rate hiking cycle that accelerated last year and may continue for many, tight financial conditions, and enduring higher than normal prices for many commodities, especially wheat and food products, edges us to have caution on the asset class. Let's quickly turn to those constructive developments that I referred to and that are making us hopeful but we'll also delve into our reasons for our concerns. First and foremost, growth forecasts across the board have generally improved over the last quarter. And that seems good, of course. In fact, the IMF's most recently published, updated World Economic Outlook revises global growth for 2023 up to 2.9%. But it also revised 2024 figure down to 3.1%. And what about the big economic blocks that are engines of global growth? Well, the U.S. growth looks more resilient, and the same goes for the euro area. China, too, thanks largely to its reopening. But in fact, when you look closely at quarterly GDP for all three, certainly you see some resilience, but you also see that problems exist. For example, in the U.S., inventories was a driver of fourth quarter performance. And in the euro area, the collapse of import was behind its growth momentum that was better than anticipated. Whatever the case, growth is still slower than in the recent period. And for emerging markets, growth is expected to post just 1.8% in 2023. That's a weak number for these generally high debt economies. So my point, despite greater optimism, there is still no cause for cheer. What is a cause for celebration, however, is that shipping costs have receded and a lot of the supply chain rigidities are unraveling. The weakening of the U.S. dollar is also supportive of external debt payments prospects for emerging markets, as well as their disinflation efforts. Interest rate pauses or cuts, should they come, and we do expect some in several economies, that could also be constructive. But again, those trends need to be considered alongside the concerns. So that brings me full circle to our concerns. So why are we cautious at KBRA? Well, public sector debt levels are elevated, and in this context of a growth slowdown and rising political pressures evident across the globe, that's cause for concern. Food prices are elevated, especially compared to pre-COVID levels, which exacerbates already swelling political risk. Weak pass-through of inflation in non-monetized economies elevates risk in those economies because of the impact on poverty. Also, the COVID-inspired plan for the debt service suspension initiative, well, those payments will start falling due starting next year, and adjustments may have to be made this year that might be difficult and build pressure on those economies. As for KBRA's publicly rated portfolio, trends diverge. Net downward adjustments to our ratings over the course of 2022 left us with stable outlooks on every sovereign in our rated portfolio. And in many instances, our portfolio of ratings has also been assisted by shrewd debt management by sovereigns that has helped to reduce refinancing risk and also helps insulate those government coffers from the rising cost of debt that is being experienced. So to just wrap up our comments on the outlook for sovereigns, On balance, for global sovereigns, our outlook tilts toward the negative, and we are concerned that 2023 and also 2024 could be years with a pickup in sovereign defaults and eroding credit quality. However, with regards to KBRA's rated portfolio of sovereigns, we have stable outlook across the board thanks to rating adjustments over the prior year. 
Thank you for listening and please contact us with any questions. This concludes our episode. Please continue the conversation on LinkedIn and Twitter at Kroll Bond Rating. We'd also like to remind you that all of our ratings and research reports are available at kbra.com. Lastly, please share any feedback or ideas for future podcast episodes by emailing us at media at kbra.com. We hope to see you next time.